friends welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you haven't been here before I'm Erin and for today's video we are going to be doing a little bit of a review on some pool lights that I bought for our swimming pool so about a month or so ago I was perusing in good old Walmart you'll have to excuse the little dog chewing on his feet back here and I saw this light that you could put in your pool that made like a fish design and I thought it was really cool. So went home and told the boyfriend about it and we decided to get two different lights because I found a different one online. Now you may be asking me why I'm doing this a month later. Well, I wanted to see if they worked, but I did save the boxes. So we can go over those two. So the first one that I'm going to go over is the Solar Underwater Light Show. Now, when I bought this, it was on sale for 15 bucks. Now it's back up to $24.99. And I'll have both of these lights linked down below. This is what the box looks like. Just says Solar Underwater Light Show. And then on the side of it, it says, Put a light show into your pool, ultra bright LED, solar powered, IPX7 waterproof rating. I have no idea what IPX7 waterproof rating is, but whatever. And then on the back of the box, it talks about how it has 10 ultra bright LEDs for an exciting color changing light show. The waterproof rating again. It says it can be used anywhere, indoors or out. Which I think is funny, and I'll get to that in a second. And then it's solar powered, no batteries needed, and runs up to 5 hours on a full charge. Now. Part of the reason why I waited so long to do this, like I said, was I wanted to see how well and how long these worked. They're both still working, so there's the spoiler there. However, the rating on this solar underwater light show, the more recent ones seem to be okay, but there were a few shady ones in there. Like this first one says, works well, took a full day to charge up in the sun, but has been working faithfully ever since. This one says, works great, maintenance free, reasonably priced and entertaining, we use in the hot tub. This one is a good one. Let me find one here. This one says, save your money. This does not give the vibrant show you see in the pictures. I had to put black tape over the sensors to even get it to turn on. There was just too much ambient light in the area. If it were pitch black out, it might be a decent show. And then this one says, well, being a pool item, one would think it is waterproof. Well, it's not. We bought it, charged it, used it three or four times, and lo and behold, it filled up with water and shorted out. And to top it off, we could not return it because we did not have the receipt. Customer service told us. Who knows how old it is. Wasted money. And there's a couple other ones that say that they sat it outside and it just never turned on. Now, when I first got this, it's been hotter than hell here in North Carolina. So I figured, oh, this thing's going to charge up quick. It did not charge up quick. It did take a full day in the sun. The first day I got it, I had it out in the sun for a good, I want to say like four or five hours, and it did not turn on that night. So here is what the light itself looks like. You can see that there's a solar power thingy on the top, and then the button here, which is to turn it on and off, and then the bottom... It has the like the disco light effect thing and there you can I don't know if you can see it but there's a weight in the middle that keeps this thing weighted down now this says it can be used indoor or out I don't know if they mean hey throw it in the bathtub or what because this thing does not stand up real good on its own it kind of is wobbly so I don't see how this would be good on using it inside but hey the other thing is, is that I can see if you had a large pool, one of these is not going to do the trick. Our pool is 14 feet in diameter, and this by itself would not work. So thankfully we got this second light that I'm going to talk about in a second, which is actually different. So I can see where some people say that this is more of use in a hot tub than it is a pool. Or you could just buy more than one and it's going to do the same thing. Uh, there are seizure warnings on the box for this, so if you have a kid with epilepsy or whatever, probably not a wise idea to get this. And I'll have a video of it working at night later. Now with this light, you can 
press the button and keep it on all the time and then it'll automatically turn on at dusk or when it gets dark enough which it has to be pretty darn dark for this thing to work but <clears throat> I don't know that I would recommend doing that. I think the people that said that it worked four or five times probably leave it on during the day so it just automatically turns on. And I think that's going to wear out the battery that's in here. Now I know you're telling me, probably thinking, well it's solar powered, there's no battery. No, there is a battery in here. That's what the solar powered thing charges up. So if you constantly leave it going, it's going to wear out a lot faster. So what we do is we leave it off and then when we choose to use it, we turn it on. So you can see it working right now in the light and it's just because I have my hand over the solar thing. And like I said, it has to be pretty darn dark for this thing to work. Um, if I lift my hand off, it'll stop working. So if you do have a lot of ambient light over your pool, this isn't gonna be the thing for you either. But I will say overall, we've enjoyed it. It's fit our use, so. I give it a thumbs up. I mean, other than it having to be completely dark and it took a while to, for it to charge the first time, I've had no issues with it. So this next one is the one that actually inspired me to get these lights in the first place. And this is the Rainbow Reef Aquarium Pool Light. And it says instant aquarium ambience for, ambience for your pool. And if you look, it has like little fishies. And that's why I wanted it because, well, we have a lot of fish tanks here and we are aquarium enthusiasts so I thought it was pretty tongue-in-cheek to make our pool an aquarium as well. This one is not solar powered. It takes batteries and if you read down here it says there's three magical light modes which I'll go over in a second. This one is bigger. It does project a lot further. This one also oh, didn't have great reviews though. This one we paid $19.86 for, and that is what it still is on Walmart's app. Some of the good reviews say, love this pool light, it lights up my little pool like no other, works well in a small above ground pool, wish it was solar powered though. This person wrote, I have two of these for my 26 foot above ground pool. Like other reviews stated, it's, it is pretty dim, but it looks nice when it's close to a wall. I would need at least three more to really light up the pool. My kid loves them so I love them. Other reviews mentioned problems with the switch. I too have problems with one of mine. Just have to take the cap off and use a screwdriver to turn it off. It is just a design flaw as there is a small plastic leg that pushes the on button. This one was not quite long enough. This person read the reviews and saw that they were half and half but decided to buy it anyway. It says it's cool, but it moves around a lot if people are in the pool, and then they get in the way, which, that's kind of a no-brainer. If you're in the way of the light, it's going to block the lights. But if you're floating around in floaties, it looks pretty cool. It says it could make a cool light in a bedroom, though, um, and you can use it for both, which you can. So, same thing for this. People are saying that their pool is too big for it. If that's the case, buy a couple of them. I think this light is pretty cool. It definitely looks a little more aesthetically pleasing than the other one. This is what it looks like. You can see the fish cutouts here. It is battery powered. So if you unscrew this, underneath here where these screws are is where the batteries are and there's a gasket on there. So if you mess up screwing this on when you're changing batteries, you're gonna mess up the whole thing. Um, so I can see why some people would prefer it to be solar powered. I would prefer it to be solar powered too. Uh, there's the, the button on the top for the light to turn it on. The problem with this one too is that it is top heavy so if you just toss it in the pool it will turn upside down rather than automatically be the correct way whereas this one is weighted so it doesn't turn upside down. If you hold it though and let the water go in through the holes it stays right side up for the most part. This one obviously you don't have to wait until it's dark to turn on. You can turn it on since it's battery powered which I guess is a good thing. 
You can use this wherever, if you look down here, it has the little feet that'll hold it up. So you could potentially use it as a nightlight in a kid's room. It'd be pretty cool. So it has three modes. It has this mode here where you can see the fish on me. They just stay stagnant. Then if you hit it one more time, if you pay attention, you'll see the fish fading in and out. And then the third mode is they just go a lot faster with the fading in and out. And like I said, we'll show you what these look like in the pool later. This one does cast pretty good light. I wouldn't say that it's dim in the pool at all. You definitely can see the fish figures more on the side of the wall, but that's just kind of the way it would work with water, so I don't know why people would complain about that. Overall, I give this one two thumbs up too. Out of both of them, I mean, they both have their ups and downs, I suppose, like their quirks. But I think they look pretty cool together in the pool too, so if you wanted two different things going on at the same time, would recommend getting two different lights. But let's jump into what they look like in the pool. All right. So the lighting is pretty horrible right now, but I'm gonna turn on these lights so you can see what they look like. So this is the first one that I was telling y'all about. I mean, it throws off a good bit of light. So you can see with the floaties, I mean, like I said, this is a 14 foot pool. So it does okay by itself. Here comes the other fish light. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn off the other light and turn on the fish light so you can see what that looks like and then I'll put both on. Okay, so here is what the fish light looks like. If I can get my camera to focus, there we go. Um, I have it on the middle setting where, which is why I think it's having trouble focusing. You can see the fish designs that are on here. Sorry that the camera keeps going in and out of focus. It does not like the darkness. And I think it doesn't like that the fish are changing. But I'll stick in some cell phone footage that might be a little bit better. So my cell phone is definitely not as clear of a picture and the water is actually pretty clear so I don't know why it's looking like it's cloudy. But this is what the fish looks like just so you get a better idea. And now I'll turn on both so you can see what they both look like. So it lights up the pool pretty good with both of them. Um, they're just kind of going with the flow of the filter right now. But I mean, it's decent. I don't know if I said before, but the fish one cannot stay in the water all the time. The smaller one can, the solar one can stay in the water all the time. But you have to take the fish light out. I'm not sure why that is, but the way that rolls. You can see the pattern going side of the pool looks kind of cool. But yeah, like I said, overall two thumbs up for these. I would definitely recommend them and I will have them linked down below if you want to check them out. But that's it for today's video guys. If you liked it, please give me a big old thumbs up. If you want to see more videos like this one, Make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and I'll catch you guys in my next video. Bye!